Hi, my name is Kelly, and the new text-to-image AI art generators have me so fascinated that I want to see how well they can translate our favorite books. It gets one time to shine, and one time only. The first image it creates is what we see. Welcome to this second part video presentation of Dante's The Inferno. In this project, I use text from the book input into AI to create a visual interpretation of the last 17 cantos of the book. If you haven't seen part one yet, you might want to go check that one out first. The Inferno is the first part of Dante Alighieri's epic poem, The Divine Comedy. It is a journey through hell guided by the Roman poet Virgil, where the souls of the damned are punished for their sins. In this video, we focus on the last 17 cantos of the Inferno, where Dante and Virgil journey through the last three circles of hell, witnessing the punishment of the most severe sinners. Through this video, I hope for AI to bring to life the powerful and evocative language of Dante's The Inferno and provide a new perspective on this timeless classic. Will the AI's images be anywhere close to the images that you create in your mind when you read the book? Well, there's only one way to find out. Enjoy. The Simoniacs The Hypocrites The Thieves The Fraudulent Counselors The Sowers of Discord it's around here where ChatGPT seems to get lost or confused and keeps spitting out the cantos wrong. We've already been through the hypocrites. I then asked it if it if it was wrong. It apologized and then tried again and got that one wrong as well. But as per the parameters of the experiment, it only gets one try to get it right. So let's keep going. The Souls of Schism The Souls of Fraud The Traitors The Unfaithful The Sinners and Demons The Flatterers The Giants The Chase The Souls of the Damned Emerging from Hell The Summary Canto They still have a ways to go before the AI will fully interpret what is written. We seem to be just past the stages of See Jane Run, Run Jane Run. Although I input the same keywords for shading, lighting, volumetric, style of art, etc. for every image, the art styles will still come out differently. As we can see between Canto 23 and 24 in the video, their art styles couldn't be any more different. In my experimenting, it seems to be about the amount of characters that you're feeding the generator. Just like with C. Jane Run, the AI needs it to be as simplified as possible. An example would be a frozen lake with sinners buried upside down, comma, their faces distorted in agony, comma, and Satan frozen in the center, comma, furiously flapping his wings, comma, creating a cold wind that keeps the lake frozen. That's the prompt that I use for the image that we're looking at right now, minus the modifiers like lighting and art style. And even though it is a long way off from being perfect, I'm still amazed by how much it can do at this point. This technology is, well, a bit controversial right now. Some people seem to think that AI art is not art in its fundamentals. 
I tend to disagree. Is I think anything can be seen as art. It just depends on how you look at it. I mean, Andy Warhol painted Campbell's soup cans. Lance Letcher uses magazines and trash from dumpsters to make amazing collages. The only thing that takes away the art from the image you are viewing, no matter how minuscule, are your thoughts. If you keep an open mind, the art will follow. Now, of course, all of this is just my own opinion, but I'd love to hear what you think about it. In your mind, what makes art, art? So what story would you like to see AI interpret next? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next weird, wild, and wacky book interpretation and to watch as AI gets better and better over time. Also, make sure to check out the videos of the books that have already been interpreted on my channel if you haven't. There's some really cool imagery going on. We'll see you next time. Take care.